All right. At Comic-Con 2015, they were giving out a lot of stuff, you know, like posters, you know, like just a bunch of small things. But I happened to stumble upon the Nickelodeon booth, and the, like the very last day I walked in, and they handed me this. And it's actually like a, like a sneak peek uh, episode of this brand new show called Pig Goat Banana Cricket. Now, I've never heard of this show. I have no idea anything about it. So, um, it's actually kind of cool that I got to like, have, like, you know, like this sneak peek. And, I don't know, I just wanted to review it. Because it's very interesting and it should be coming out very soon. But, um, I actually liked it. It's it's a very odd show. Like, a very weird assortment of characters. Like, a pig, a goat, banana cricket, and just name it that. Just flat out. It's a very weird show, but in the sense that, like, all 90s shows were weird. It has, like, that vibe. I mean, the art style reminds me so much of, like, um, like, Ren and Stimpy or, like, Camp Lazlo or... It's, it's, it's very rough, but it's not, like... It's made like that for... It's, like, an aesthetic choice. So it's very weird, but at the same time, it, it works very well. Oh, it's also uh, just filled with total humor. Double entendres galore. And uh, a lot of the time, they do make it... Um, they make it, like, it's a good joke, but every now and then, you know, let's go... It's, but it's actually less so than when they actually hit. Um, I'll, the characters are actually pretty well uh, written. Um, it's usual characters, like, uh, the pig is a silly heart goofball. The goat is, like, a artsy type who she's pretty much... She, she gets a little... She's a little crazy, too. Like, she gets really hot-headed when, like, things don't go her way. Banana's, like, a... Who... Honestly enough, it's actually funny because he's voiced by uh, Thomas F. Wilson, uh, Biff Tannen from freaking Back to the Future. But he's like a the straight man of like a comedy duo. He's very serious, but at the same time, like things are going wrong around him, and he's always just trying to fix them, and they always end up getting fixed. No, it's it's very weird. And Cricket, the guy who I didn't really see that much of his character development, but he lives in the basement and he's constantly making like science experiments and they always go crazy and they always go R it's, 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 it's pretty pretty insane but from what I saw I mean this is the first episode or this is the first episode produced this will be the second one I think it's gonna air but um I think it was called a uh, big open out of cricket high five it's a it's very weird half the time and also you have no idea what's gonna happen like none of the stories are like oh it's, I know I can see this coming from all the way like it's very very weird but not in the sense of like Adventure Time, where it's like so weird, you're like, holy shit. It's more like 90s weird. This show, I'm pretty sure, is made for 90s kids. Or like to, you know, show like a 90s vibe to like a newer audience. But it's pretty much made by a 90s kid. It, this is essentially the, the feeling I'm getting from it. I mean, this is actually based off a comic strip that was uh, first released back in 2004 in Nickelodeon magazine. Yeah, that's a old ass publication and if you actually own one I never did but if you actually own one that's actually pretty cool but um yeah it's it's not bad um I wouldn't watch it I mean I'm not really I mean I do watch cartoons still but that's more like cartoon network but um it's actually not that bad from what I can if you're a kid or something you're gonna watch it like if your kids are gonna watch a new show and like maybe you want to introduce them like something like a 90s type of show but you don't want to like show them like Rockers My Life because that's way too dirty or Angry Beavers or something like that and this can work because it's actually not that bad. Like, I liked it. That's the best I can give it. And, and if I were to give it, like, a score, I'd probably get, like, a 7 out of 10. Like, I liked it. It was actually enjoyable. Would I watch it again? Probably not. This is why I'm giving it a high score, but that's, like, I'm trying to, trying to, you know, give it some leniency. Because, like, if I was a kid, I'd watch this for sure. But, um, for what it is, it's good. And, uh, if, if it's already out, or if it's, if it's July 18th, it's coming out. Saturday mornings on Nickelodeon. Um, I recommend you watch it, but it's good.